Memorial Day, red, white, and blue is definitely yes. in the mix today. We secretly matched and we weren't planning it. <laughs> we were not planning it. I love how so that works. That's how you know we're crafting with the all-time <laughs> favorite Beverly shots. <laughs> You're uh, such a sweetheart. <laughs> from Michaels. <laughs> Thanks, Beverly, for coming on here, of course. Yes, on this absolutely. Holiday. All right, red, white, and blue in red, white, baseball. And blue. Like baseball. Like a big kickoff to summer, right? Oh, you yeah. know, just when we thought the snow would never go away, it's gone and baseball can start. Mm -hmm. So I agree. And you know what? So people are going to go enjoy the sun, hot dogs, mm -hmm. some sodas. We're going to sit inside and craft. I Absolutely. Think. You know, yes. A little bit of everybody <laughs> going on here. Thanks yes. Everyone. So today we are going to utilize some of Michael's very own iron-on vinyl. It okay. is a heat transfer vinyl and it is so thin that it almost feels like paint, like a paint, mm -hmm. like the, the, um, the inks. Yeah, yeah. Because it is so cool and it's a matte finish. So we are going to make a tote bag and then a little extra bag. Um, for you to carry along on your baseball adventures, you can put your snacks in your, your water bottle, maybe in the tote bag, and then this little extra bag, maybe you want to throw your money, your yep. debit card, a little extra change or something in that and throw that inside, and you're good to go. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. so we're going to have some fun. Let's do it. So, yes. you already kind of cut out some of right. the baseball. Right, yeah, yep. I want just um, the Cricut Design Space has a lot of, of designs there already, and you can upload your own, but um, it had the, the baseball stitching, mm -hmm. and I thought, that would look so cool on a tote bag. Yeah, it'd look cool on a T-shirt too, and um, and or whatever. But um, but I thought we hadn't done a tote bag for a while, and so I did go ahead and cut those out ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, but um, but you know this design, even if you didn't have a cricket, would not be difficult to to replicate. Yeah, because it would just be a matter of cutting some V shapes, and um, you know out of the vinyl. I mean, if you don't have a Cricut, it doesn't mean you have to yeah, um, you not use the it. heat transfer vinyl. So well, because you got something fancy over there that kind of yeah. maybe on your own. Absolutely, yeah. yes. You know, and um, so let's say you don't have a Cricut and you want to create some, like a fun tote bag or you want to create a fun design for a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. We have printable iron-on sheets for fabric. And so you, you maybe clip, you know, research clip art, baseball clip art, whatever. Um, in Google and then let's say you find a design you want or upload your own then you print it out on your printer onto these sheets and we have them for light fabrics and dark fabrics and then you just iron it on your tote bag your t-shirt whatever yeah. and um, you're good to go all good so, to go huh? yeah um, I like <laughs> you emphasize that the vinyl is very thin even the scrap is long yes. like it's just it's actually different than it, what I've worked with because I have yes. a little um, what did you call it the, the Cricut Joy the Cricut yep. Joy the small one right. and I'll buy you know the everyday vinyl mm -hmm. it's a lot thicker than this stuff which yes. is actually easy I yes. the thin stuff which yes. is nice yes this I was so impressed I hadn't used it yet we haven't had it in store all that long but we it comes it's an art minds brand and it, it comes in many 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 different mm. colors and um, um, I was really impressed with it because, like I said, it's got kind of a neat matte finish and it's got a, um, it's just so thin that it almost feels like the design is painted on yeah, or, or nice. printed with the sublimation type inks. So I was very impressed. You did say to get rid of my wrinkles, right? Yes, okay. get rid of your wrinkles, yes. We're talking about these right now. <laughs> I wish. Well, wouldn't that be nice if it was that easy? Well, that would maybe be Maybe a little so painful, nice. but... <laughs> yeah, maybe if it was like a, something cooler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, but. yes. It's always best to heat up your design. If you, you know, I mean, sometimes when I'm creating and ironing on vinyl, I don't heat up the surface mm. beforehand because it's, you know, by the time I get my design placed, then I'm thinking, whoops, you want to go the other way? Oh, Bring the other way? No, yep, uh, there you go. Nope, nope, nope go over there <laughs> that way that way that, that way. way okay yep, yep. <laughs> unless you wanted to go the round way you certainly no, i can. don't know i don't play yeah. baseball so <laughs> you can you know what like i always say i bet i say this every time we do this crafting there are no rules really yeah. i mean we can do it our whatever we want and just have fun with it but um but i thought you know this kind of makes the tote bag look like a baseball so yeah. And, you know, I didn't go with the snow white tote bag because I thought, number one, white tends to get dirty and or show dirt easier and quicker. And, um, and you know, and I thought baseballs, once they get used a little bit. Oh, yeah, they get a little yeah. rough looking. And you want to sit it down, push the cricket button, and then you don't want to move it around. Okay. Okay, and then there you go. And then, and then push put a little down. pressure. Yep. So 25 seconds. 25 seconds, and then that will bond to the bag. And um, this design is a little larger than the 9x9 press that we have. Mm -hmm. So we'll move it around a little bit. But um, 
Yeah, I mean, it is a quick craft. Um, so what is the difference between the Cricut iron and say maybe your clothing iron that you have at home? Right. Or could you use that? Absolutely, yes, you could. You just wanna make sure you use it without steam, of course. Okay. And then you want to, um, you want to, um, Maybe press your design in numerous spots just for the simple fact that the iron will have holes in it, mm -hmm. in the bottom of it, on the plate. And so those areas will not get adhered right. as well. So you'll, okay. you'll kind of just want to move it around a little bit more. Um, but, um, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But no, it is... Uh, I, I, you know, and I, I tend to be a little bit on the uh, conservative side with things, and I thought, oh, I don't need the the heat press. And in some of my first designs, I tried using my iron, yeah. and I, you know, I immediately knew I wanted the heat press just because it's a solid surface it's heat. One big one, yeah. And yeah, and you can just, I mean, you can plow through. Let's say you're making T-shirts for a family reunion or something. You can get through a lot of oh, T-shirts in a short yeah. amount of time when you just have to press it one time and lift and you go on to the next one. It's therapeutic to do this too. Yes, so. yes. I love the weeding process. Yeah, it's Some fun. people don't like weeding, but I I'm love it. I'm kind of upset you did it for me on the work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, if we had about maybe a half an hour, oh, yeah, I'd have had you that. even cut the design. Oh, I would have done it. <laughs> it does take time to do that, but it's yes. fun to watch the machine. It, it really do is it. fun. And it it's is. just amazing. Oh, my gosh. It is so cool. Yes. Yes. And then I did cut out the words baseball junkie. And, um, and if you want to iron those on, you're going to want to lay your, your plastic back on your red stripes um, or your stitching so that it doesn't, you want to put your plastic back over these guys. Oh, okay. Yep, because otherwise it's going to, it, it's probably it. going to stick to the press. Okay. And we don't want it to stick to the press, so you bet. That makes sense. You okay, bet. and then the baseball first, because this is, oh no, two layers. If you, maybe if you cut the bottom of that other one off, that would work too. I did the same thing that you did. Yeah. I, exact <laughs> same thing. And then I went, okay, <laughs> I should have done that because yeah, I need this Yeah, live and you learn. Thing. Okay, well, yes. we don't. We can go up here. Yep, go okay. up there and then push your Cricut button yep. and push down and then, yep, it's going to iron the baseball on. Um, but just... two different layers with the color. Sorry yes. to interrupt you. Yeah, I no. haven't done that because I was wondering because the, there's a piece of the bee that's missing, missing. in the baseball. Yes. So I was like, okay, explain. <laughs> yes, why does this bee look weird? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, they are, they're going to intersect. Um, the, the K in uh, Junkie kind of loops up into the baseball part of it. And uh, so I thought, oh, we'll add a little blue too. So you just have to kind of be mindful of, you know, what you're going to do. And, um, and when, you know, when you're ironing, ironing on your second color, yep. you just want to make sure you cover your first color with the plastic back again. Okay. But you want to make sure that the um you know everything is covered when you go to press it because Smart. you don't want any uh because it will melt it will melt i think it will stick to the press it may not but i'm not comfortable laying the press on it without that protective right. plastic but yeah we are we are rolling it's fun <laughs> yeah it's very tedious though to get it perfect yes but yes we will get there yep okay and then i have to lay yeah, the just other. make sure you've got the we'll go back got something here. covered there. So it gets to be a lot of layers. <laughs> it is, it is. And, and you know, I may not even be doing it right. You know, I've kind yeah. of, this, all of my cricket experiences, it's self-taught. <laughs> right. So, you know, you, hey, you kind of wonder, right. go ahead and push your cricket oh. button. The little green guy? Yep, it's yep, good. You got it pressed. Yep. Okay, good 18 job. 18 seconds, 17. Awesome. Yep, and then you have a little guy here, like you said, with yeah. two other baseballs. So there's yeah. so many things you could do. I mean, wouldn't this be fun if you had, maybe you had a baseball-themed birthday party, and you made treat bags for everybody. Yeah, that's I a mean, good this idea. is something they can take with them, and I mean, quick easy and easy uh -huh. to do, you know? Especially, too, because this is such a big baseball, softball community. It is. And, uh... Yes, I just think that there is so many ways to utilize the cricket with with the the summer sports and you know and I mean gifts. I mean you can come up with gifts for people and look at you. I mean you just yeah. whipped right through that. That was gorgeous. Yeah. I think does it? It just looks like something you would have gone and bought. Took a like a plain basic tote, yeah. spiced up. Yeah, and you could buy this you know at a big box store. Yes. And, yeah. Yeah. And easy. pay more. Definitely. Very more cute for it. design, Beverly. Well, Absolutely. I know what I'm doing. Yay. All right. Well, the games are kicking <laughs> off today, Memorial Day. Yes. Uh, and you know, of course, professional baseball season's already underway. Beverly, yes. where can we find all these craft ideas in your gorgeous brain? <laughs> You're yeah. such a sweetheart. <laughs> you are good for my soul. Oh, <laughs> we are out at 1459 East LaSalle in the Hay Creek Shopping Center. And today we are open until 6.
easy enough. All right, Beverly, thank you. You bet. Keep it here. More to come on North Dakota today.